day out west, a changing horizon where border security and people coexist peacefully, where someone's always watching. A blessing for those who had lost all hope. In different kind of ways, like for example, illegal aliens, uh, there was probably robberies on the neighborhood, everything. Ganthu's body shop once saw a lot of traffic. We had uh, several that ended here. Pursuits, drivers barreled through metal and into the brush. Uh, around a mile. From the Rio Grande. So we couldn't like sleep well though. Were you ever worried about people coming and trying to steal the vehicles? Yes, we even installed uh, surveillance cameras all over. Miguel Cantu tried everything to keep dad's 20-year-old business afloat. We want to be telling everybody what would happen here. We want to uh, scare people away. And the family looked to the heavens for help. But I can see the cameras all over, like on the, on the bottom of it. The U.S. Border Patrol activated this aerostat about a year ago. Pretty much a lot of cameras. Cantu's curiosity peaked. 24-7, there's Border Patrol. Cameras point towards... Mexico. The body shop is in the line of sight. Cantu's never seen recorded footage. I'd like to see it though. <laughs> Come on in. Okay, what are we walking into? So, so in every Border Patrol station, you'll find Command, Control, Communication, and Information Center with all the video surveillance, radio dispatch. On the horizon, a black and white view of the border. Is this man 24 hours a day? It is. Kevin Oakes is the sector chief for the Rio Grande Valley. He started the job about six months ago. And the more eyes we have on the border, the better off we're all. Added to the screen, playback from five aerostats. We put the technology where there's the highest threat. And right now, the Rio Grande Valley is the highest threat in terms of border security missions throughout the nation. The valley is the only part of the border with balloons tonight. Bad guys have some pretty sophisticated technology, especially in terms of communication. Aerostats help level the playing field. So this was recorded last February. It's the dead of night. A technology uh, which is state of the art that can detect 24-7, day and night, in all threats and all weather. The location, a secret. An infrared camera spotted 11 people in a single file line, freeze, Right of the screen, a trio of Border Patrol agents hidden in the brush. You know, they have the capability of watching for miles and miles in the dark, and so the agents, you know, when they go into these very high threat areas where there's been previous assaults on agents, these aerostats can clear the area to make sure there's no bad guys. Play. Agents popped out. The group scattered. The balloon, you know, follows them. The camera pulled out on the horizon. And think about it, it's, it's dark and it's in the middle of the night. There is no ambient light out there. Three federal vehicles were guided to the group. The aerostats don't make noise. Agents stationed directly underneath the balloon communicated what they saw. The illegal immigrants had no idea the sky-high surveillance saw their every move. They caught all 11 people. Just a few months ago. It gives you a good snapshot of what goes on. Nearly a dozen moved through South Texas. These are backpackers, so they're probably more than likely already north of the highway. And that's what's really interesting because it's three in the morning and they've been surveilling this group for hours and hours. Freeze, far right side of the screen, four agents. The feds first spotted the smugglers at the river. The idea is to arrest as many people as you can and get all the narcotics. If an agent were to try to do this without any sort of infrared help, how difficult would it be? You'd have to be right on top of them. The balloons are changing the landscape. Cameras can scope out any possible weapons. And if they're armed, our approach is going to be a little bit different. And while security is getting better, the rise in resources continues. We're preparing for worst case scenario. You know, we're going to have an uptick in January because you're going to see the flow increase. Oak says illegal immigrants return home for the holidays. They risk crossing back into the U.S. during the months that follow. But I think we're better prepared this year for than we were last year. But right now, everything's much, much better and calm. Tonight, at least one man says things are looking up. You don't want it to leave? No. <laughs> Everybody sleeps right now. <laughs> Tonight, a snapshot from the sky gives us a better look at the battle for the border. Melissa Correa, Channel 5 News at 10.
penitas.